What's up guys, I'm Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a maximum subarray problem, the lead code next challenge of a 30 day lead code challenge. You're given an integer array nums and find the contiguous sum subarray, which has at least one element, which has the largest sum and return of sum. So this is the array. The output is six. The explanation is that this subarray has the largest sum six. Okay, so a subarray, when they mean contiguous subarray, it means that it's like it's an array that is part of the large, bigger array, like a smaller array that's part of the bigger array, and it's contiguous. So that means that the numbers are le uh, next to each other. So negative two, one, negative three, four. That would be a contiguous subarray. This negative one, uh, negative two, one, negative three is another contiguous subarray, all right? So we're not picking random elements from the array. We're not picking a negative two, then negative five, and then four, okay? We're not doing that. So what we're doing is we're trying to find the contiguous subarray that has the largest sum. That's what we're trying to do, okay? We're trying to find the contiguous subarray that has the largest sum and return its sum, okay? So to do this, you actually just run this algorithm called Cadane's algorithm. And uh, I'm gonna briefly explain how this works while I'm typing the code up, but uh, maybe I'll have a more in-depth video later on. So yeah, how it works is that we're gonna start because okay, so we need we we know that the we know that um we need to return the max sum, right? So I'm gonna have a variable called uh, max sum, and then I'm gonna have another variable called the current sum. And these variables are going to be initialized with the first value, okay? So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So we know that when we're looping through here, right, we need to find every single sum for every single subarray, a contiguous subarray. So here, what am, I, what am I going to do? I'm going to try to, I'm going to loop through every, uh, through every value here, and I'm going to find the current contiguous sum up to this point. So at this point, I'm going to find the current sum negative two, one, negative three, four, or the maximum contiguous sum. So the, the the max max sum that is possible at this current point, and I'm going to uh, compare that and get the maximum sum at this uh, current point. So to do that, I'm going to pretty much sum up the values beforehand up to this point. And I have to make sure that, check, am I resetting this sum? Okay, so if at the next point, let's say I hit a negative one, and I don't want this negative one to be inside my sum that I currently calculated, I'm gonna start a new sum from that point. So I'm gonna, if, if, I'm, if, uh, if negative one is not there, I'm gonna start a new sum after the point, and I don't add negative one, okay? So how am I gonna do that? First, I'm going to maintain two variables called max sum and then current sum. I'm going to loop through the end of the array. Uh, because we already started our max sum at zero, right? And current sum, those have value zero. So I'm going to start from one, all right? One to the end. And what am I going to do? I'm going to get the current sum, and it's going to be the max value of nums at i plus my current sum. But I also have to check if I'm going to reset it or not. So if I'm going to reset this, that means that the I don't want to add the, the next value into my current sum, right? So if I'm going to reset it, I'm going to do nums at i. Okay, so this is going to pretty much check, find the maximum value that, uh, that I'm currently at. So if my nums at i is larger, like if my current value that I'm currently on, like 4, if it's larger than... Uh, uh, yeah, at four. Let's say I'm at four. If it's larger than the are my already previous sum that I already added up currently, then I'll reset it. Okay, I'll reset my current sum to be starting from new sum starting from four. So that's what I'm going to do here. I do a current sum is going to equal the maximum value of the nums, uh, the nums at i, which is the um, the current value I'm on, plus the current sum that previously that I already added up. I'm going to find the maximum of this and the new value that I'm going to start at. Because if it's if the new value that I'm going to add is larger than all this stuff, then I'm going to reset my current sum, right, to be the new value that I'm starting at. All right. Then I'm going to find max sum, which is just going to be the maximum 
of my current max sum and current sum. After that, I'm just going to return max sum. Okay. Hit submit. And it got accepted. So this is how you do it. This is a brief overview of Kadane's algorithm. I'm going to like go over it more in depth with an example in the next video, but this is just like a brief brief run overview of Kadane's algorithm, all right? I keep making these videos too long, but I don't I don't want to make it like too long. So yeah. This is a very brief video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maximum subarray. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.